Hot Squile, Eok Tanoya, Chinwa Etiti, Natakui, Kam Kemalai, Ochomeo, Sanakula, Kuyansna. Hi, everybody. My name is Sanakula. Today, we're here at the village to the Squamish people known as Kam Kemalai, and I will help you to learn how to pronounce it um, so you can try saying it yourself as well. This area, we're at the foot of Gore Street, we're on the docks driving from Squamish or Whistler down to Vancouver. That might be one area that you've seen the, um, the signs in the Squamish language that says come come a light. Come come a light means the place of many maple trees. This is referring to the beautiful grove of many maple trees that has been here um, for so very long, much before colonization. Um, as we can see, it's very uh, industrial now. There are really only two maple trees left here today, so it, it still could be called Kem Kemalai in the sense of talking about the maple trees. So for here at Kem Kemalai, in order to help pronounce it, one of the um, best techniques in really, really long words is to try and pronounce it from the end and backwards build up. Um, so this way we start at the end of the word and we build up all of the syllables until you can pronounce the whole word from the end to the beginning. So for here, we'll start at the end. We'll say a light, a light, come a light, come a light, come, come a light, come, come a light. Chinwa etiti na kwa laklakai ohomeo. Today we would call it Crab Park. Um, in the Squamish language, luck lakai. So luck lakai, luck lakai. So starting at the end, kai, akai, luck lakai, luck lakai, luck lakai. Hot squile tanoya, chinwa etiti, natukwa senauk, ohomeo. Today we're here, the village is known to the Squamish people as Sanauk. Sanauk, this is the name where we are underneath the Burrard Street Bridge in Vancouver within Musqueam, Squamish and tsleil nations. So the K with the underline, um, so with our, our Squamish language we have what we call guttural sounds. So when it's making noises from more deeper in your throat. So the KW, it would be so make sure you go a little bit deeper when you make that sound. K, ak, ak, nauk, nauk, anauk, sanauk. Again, we are here in sanauk, um, and it would be very meaningful um, not only to acknowledge the lands that you're on and looking at unceded traditional territories, but how um, everyone can begin to learn how to pronounce the specific areas and the villages within the native languages. So hoi chukai, I say thank you to you all, and hoi mathoth, see you later.